On this day, the most dangerous standoff in human history officially ended. On December 3rd, 1989, at the Malta summit, U.S. President George H.W. Bush and Soviet President Mikhail Gorbachev declared that the Cold War was over, closing more than 40 years of nuclear tension, air defense escalation, and global missile competition. But for air and missile defense, this moment wasn't an ending. It was the start of a transformation. The United States shifted from preparing for a worldwide nuclear shutdown to countering regional missile threats, SCUDs, short-range ballistic missiles, and emerging theater-level dangers. That pivot paved the way for Patriot Pac-2 and Pac-3, THAAD, and Aegis BMD. For the first time, Washington and Moscow discussed missile defense transparency, arms reduction treaties, and new non-proliferation efforts that reshaped global strategy. And the battlefield evolved. Air defense had to adapt to cruise missiles, UAVs, rogue state ballistic missiles, and eventually fully integrated air and missile defense concepts used today. When the Cold War ended, air defense didn't fade. It changed with the world it helped protect. First to Fire Chronicles.